Could you please go absolutely wild for Sir Isaac Newton? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I am Sir Isaac Newton. No, honestly, I, I am. I realise I've had a little bit of work done. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Uh, but I, I, am, I am Sir Isaac Newton. You think you're surprised? I thought I was performing at the Royal Society this evening, so... <laughs> I guess we're all disappointed. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about one of the darker times in my past. The Newton-Leibniz controversy. It's called Leibniz! Fuck off. <laughs> It's one of the greatest controversies that has ever rocked the world of mathematics, and it involves my greatest love, calculus. <laughs> this is the story of how some swine tried to steal from me my greatest ever invention. So, I have prepared a speech. <clears throat> I want to tell you a tale of a modern day Judas, a cane, a snout bound, an abacadomist, and to boot, he was a terrible scientist. I do, of course, speak of the one they call Leibniz. Are you going to do this whole thing in rhyme? Shut up. Or are you just going to do it in fucking Latin like you normally do? Shut up, Leibniz. <laughs> it's called Leibniz. Fuck off. Uh, but yes, I, I am going to do the whole thing in rhyme, so just get on board. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, by the way, this is a portrait that I had uh, specifically commissioned so that I could give Leibniz the side eye for the whole of time. <laughs> Recently discovered PowerPoint draw. <laughs> okay, so Leibniz, he's a cad, right? <laughs> he's just the worst. He's a fop doodle, a venerable Quimsby. I just, I'm so sick of him. He keeps stealing my work and then barging in. I am filled to the brim with contempt for his face. Because. It's pronounced because. I am Sir Isaac Newton, it is pronounced because. <laughs> I can do this. Uh, <laughs> second inventors, they have no right. And someone should warn him. I am up for a fight, right? He thinks that he is the best of all possible worlds, but literally all he's contributed is some fucking swirls to my notation. <laughs> I'm done with him from his shoes to his curls. <laughs> His attempts at mathematics, they just make me hurl. I invented calculus way before him. He can suck a dick, and you should all ignore him and his stupid interruptions. Why do you do this, Newton? Suck a dick, Leibniz! <laughs> <coughs> so, calculus. It's uh, that wonderful mathematical study of change. Um, though to warn you, it is slightly hard to explain, <coughs> but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, imagine a graph with axes labelled X and Y, and now draw a curve that measures speed over time. And I know it says distance on the graph, but the extra syllable really fucks with my rhyming scheme. Karis, what, you're breaking the fourth wall. Stop, stop. They, they're, they're understanding that you're not actually Newton. You... Stop. Okay, it's actually really hard for me to stay in character if you keep calling me Karis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Leibniz. <laughs> so, if on our graph we draw a tangent, we can approximate speed by measuring its gradient. Um, now here's the problem. Sorry. We can't always we can't always draw a tangent. So if you'll permit me, I'll just go off on a tangent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to introduce a little bit of terminology. But I promise it'll make things easier. Just just wait and see. So if we call the rate of change a fluxion, what what is a fluxion? And then and then uh, we call the difference in, in x and y. If we call that a fluent, I am definitely not fluent in whatever you're talking about. Oh, you're so witty, Leibniz. <laughs> Um, and then as, as the fluent, right? You still haven't explained what a fluxion is? As the fluent becomes infinitesimal, then it can approximate our fluxion um, if it gets very small. So then we just take the whole thing to infinity and measuring the tangent of a graph, well, that becomes easy. 
Uh, that, no, that made no sense. That, made, no, okay, 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 guys. Guys, guys, okay. You missed the pie joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's as easy as pie. <laughs> I was very proud of that one. <laughs> you stole it from me. Like, you stole calculus. Uh, it's just what I'm into. Um, so... So pi, lol, math pun, isn't Newton amazing? Yes! No! He thinks he's brilliant at everything, because he did some stuff. I don't know. But literally, did anyone understand what he was just talking about? Literally, no, people are shaking their heads in the audience, and it's because you don't know shit, Newton. Okay? I just feel sorry for him. I'm just sitting in the audience enjoying my night, I've come all the way from 1600s Germany to enjoy a science show off. <laughs> and he starts talking shit about me. Okay, look, okay, I've got to explain to you calculus in a way that actually makes sense. Okay, so, thank you, Newton. So, we have a curve, okay? Something that uh, Newton has never seen before. <laughs> we want to measure the gradient at any point on a curve. So we take a point here, and we take a point here, and we draw a straight line. And we measure the gra gradient of this line, okay? Not very accurate, but what if we move these two points together, i.e. y gets smaller, and the uh, delta y gets smaller, sorry, that means the change in y, delta y, change in y. That gets smaller, so does delta x get smaller. And then, ooh. Now I can know. No. <laughs> the 21st century was almost amazing. Uh, we're still getting used to it. It's very different to the 1600s. It's very big. <laughs> um, and the, so you just do this divided by this, that's the gradient. And as we get smaller and smaller, the gradient gets more accurate. Um, and basically, these get smaller and smaller. They tend to zero, uh, which you see is getting smaller and smaller, and then here's some math things. They're great. <laughs> Harris wrote this bit, I don't really understand what I'm saying. You're breaking the fourth wall, Leibniz. <laughs> but basically, this change gets smaller and smaller and smaller. We tend to zero, which is a form of infinity, which Newton would have understood, but he couldn't really articulate it at the time. Um, uh, <laughs> see, because he, he thinks he's amazing, and uh, he's not. Well, so I did invent that. No, no. Calculus no. is one of the most important mathematical discoveries and its creation should be solely credited to me. That's why I'm wearing a party hat. N no. Yes. N no, no. You see, I, I actually published uh, about calculus in 1684, which was a whole nine years earlier before you published anything with calculus in. Right, but... But I actually was writing about my, uh, my maths in, in, uh, in 1666, which is before 1684. I can do mathematics. I'm the discover raw. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> humor him. It's okay. It's okay. Humor him. Look, you uh, wrote about it in your notes. Uh, how convenient for you. Okay, okay, mm. let me tell you about my philosophy. I uh, Nobody wants to hear about your philosophy, Newton. <laughs> the, Literally nobody. The, uh, they, you all want to hear about my philosophy, no. right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No. Why are you enabling him? <laughs> the, the only person who gets to use my mathematical discoveries is, is me. And uh, what about all that standing on the shoulders of giants shit? That was for the posters. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I invented calculus first. I think that's, that's pretty clear mm, yeah. from the evidence. No, no, you... I mean, I actually wrote to you uh, about my, my calculus uh, in, a, in a letter. I sent it to you. I can ah, prove this. No, but, but, right, so I replied to that letter with an explanation of my calculus and how it was better and also in existence. So all of this, I invented it first stuff. That's all just nonsense. Um, you wrote to me a letter in anagrams. Oh, okay. Li no, this is a true story. He literally wrote to me in anagrams. That is how amazed and shocked somebody is. <laughs> Fucking anagrams. Who writes letters in anagrams? Okay, Leibniz, I thought you were a genius. 
Like, who would have thought scrambling some letters around would have floored you? If anything, the simplicity of an anagram should have bored you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You've forgotten the next line. Oh, where's the next line? <laughs> Uh, we actually took a lot of the quotes from this piece out of Newton's writings. Yeah, yeah, so we did. Um, <laughs> shut up, Steve! <laughs> We've mixed it all up. We've mixed it all up. Right, okay. Oh, really? That's my line. Well done, Karis. My line is, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> right, I know what comes next. I know what comes next. Look, okay. So I, right, okay. So, so potentially, right... The fact that you publish first is technically undeniable, but if we compare our writing side by side, like, yours is practically unrecognisable. Yeah, because I didn't use your shit notation. My notation is fine! <laughs> Everyone understood it. It's just really hard to explain when you have to make it rhyme. <laughs> right, okay. Let's just get one thing straight, right? The important, we all know what the important thing here is, and it's not the date, right? My book, Principia, is one of the greatest books ever written, whereas your memoirs, right, they're going to be left to rot, forgotten and flea-bitten. I am Isaac Newton, the discoverer of gravity. Uh, you, uh, actually, gravity existed, like, way before you took too many apples to the head. I just really want to point that out. Um, right, but I still wrote the rules on how we move and we see, and I developed the rules on the heat and the motions planetary. Yeah, and I just, like, invented fucking logic. Well, I was a member of the House of Lords. Uh, yeah, you spoke once, uh, and that was to ask someone to close a window because it was drafty. That is lit true. That is true. That is not a joke. Okay, Leibniz, you imbeciblets. Thank you. That's the response that deserves. I'm a... Uh... I'm going, to explain, I'm going to explain this to you simply, right? If you mess with me, you mess with the whole of the Royal Society, right? You mess with Kale, you mess with Hallie, you mess with Wallace if you mess with me. Oh, fucking John Wallace again. <laughs> John Wallace, right, he wrote in his book Algebra about my... Uh, differential calculus that I wrote in the nicest possible way a differential essay explaining to you all about it mm -hmm. yeah um, uh, John Wallace just so you know was a dick <laughs> John Wallace was an infinitesimal man who campaigned on a platform of British maths for the British clans meanwhile in Europe he wasn't having any of those Germans with their Protestant sermons. Yeah, uh, uh, we were inventing imaginary numbers while they were talking shit about me. Right, but we didn't have anything to do with the Frenchies and their overblown gentry. Yeah. So. My mate Euler invented his own fucking number. Mm, but then we didn't talk to the Swiss because they were all in cahoots with the Fritz, so... Yeah, yeah, and we also happened to invent this thing called a normal distribution, which this guy is not on. That wasn't, that wasn't very kind. <laughs> but also, none of it matters, right? This is all about who invented calculus, and it was me, goddammit. Isaac Newton, I am the best, so you can suck a fucking dick, Leibniz! <laughs> are, you, are you okay? <laughs> no, really, I'm just really angry all the time. It's okay, no, it's okay. You can talk to me about it. It's not my fault. Society just doesn't teach men how to deal with their feelings. It's okay. <laughs> I it's have okay. so many emotions and I just don't know what to do with them. I can't express myself. I know, I know. It probably has a little bit to do with you dying a virgin, but it's okay. It's okay. Low I'll teach blow, you. Leibniz. That's why you got to come to Europe, dude. Come on. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go out one more time for Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs>